Brian Stevens here with the National Real Estate Post. I want to let you know that Jeannie Kelly with Credit Repair is the only person in credit repair that you want to work with. I can say this with confidence because I've been dealing with credit repair for years and years. So if you're trying to find a way to get yourself back in a house because you've got unreported stuff or reported stuff that doesn't make sense, talk to Jeannie Kelly. She's fantastic. All you have to do is click this banner right over there. So how long does a bad marriage have to last? Well, the answer is as long as it has to last, right? That's the case with Mark Calabria, who runs the FHFA, who runs the GSEs Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Now Biden's group sees this as an unhealthy marriage and Calabria to Biden is kind of like Robin Gibbons is to Mike Tyson or Yoko to John or better yet, John Wayne Bobbitt to Lorena Bobbitt. She picks up the mic and I swear to God goes, some fucking crazy sh and you see Chuck Berry's eyes can open as wide as they are and, and it's that it's that fucking look so you understand this the point is it ain't healthy and Calabria had to go now I'm super proud to say this I called the whole thing with Calabria leaving in a conversation that I had with the California Association of Mortgage Brokers just a couple of days ago they told me all their experts said that Calabria is going to be here for the next couple of years and I told them that they were all wrong and Calabria was going to leave little did I know he was going to leave the next day now for me this one was easy to really kind of prognosticate simply put the director of the F FHFA was going to go the route of the director of the CFPB, meaning the position was going to be viewed as unconstitutional by the Supreme Court, which means the directors were going to serve at the pleasure of the president. Now, the minute the pleasure was unpleasurable, the president was going to fire them and replace them with directors or somebody who reflects the position of the executive branch. So yes, firing the director, yeah, I kind of called this one and it was an easy layup. So what you should really be asking yourself right now is what comes next. Here's how it goes. One, your adverse marketing fee on your refinances is going to be gone in the next month or two. Why? Well, here's the reason. Because there was no reason to have your adverse marketing fee on your refinances in the first place. It was Calabria's way of trying to get the GSEs out of lending. Now, I say this, the GSEs getting out of the mortgage lending space is kind of like, you know, Ford getting out of the car building space. It's really stupid and it makes no sense. Yet that was where we were at just a couple of days ago and things now have changed. Next, you're going to see your rolling 12 month GSE purchases on high risk non-owner occupied loans go away. Now what that's going to look like is a massive adjustment on your rate sheets. Those adjustments are going to go away and that's a really good thing. Next, the idea of privatizing the GSEs is also going to go away. The public private nature of the government sponsored enterprises are just going to be the government sponsored enterprises. So if you get financing from this point going forward, you're going to be in debt to the United States Treasury. Now, is that a bad thing? Ah, God, I don't know, maybe, perhaps. But here's what we get in return. It's the charter of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to make owning a home affordable. We will get affordable loans when we choose to borrow somebody else's money, and that's not really a bad thing. Further, further, as the United States housing market goes, so does our national economy so we get stability and that's also a good thing now what we hope for with this move is clarity the GSEs are buying and insuring a book of business that frankly is way too clean there's no room for errors on any of the loans that they're currently writing or buying and the problem is we are a nation of non-perfect people aren't we and it's beautiful to have non-perfect people so for all of you beautiful non-perfect people the GSEs have to make room for you too to buy a house. Why? Because that is the charter of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, the government sponsored enterprises. And right now they're not fulfilling that charter. Loans in 2020 have less risk than they had in 2019. That means we're leaving a bunch of great folks on the outside of home ownership trying to look in. Now what we need to do is this. Canning Calabria is getting us closer to what our objectives are, which begs the question, who did we get in response? So Calabria out and we've got Sandra I. Thompson coming 
in. So who is she? Well, Thompson has served as Deputy Director of the Division of Housing Mission and Goals, the DHMG at FHFA since 2013. Now in that time, Thompson oversaw the FHFA's housing and regulatory policies and capital policy, finance analysis, fair lending, and all mission activities for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and the Federal Home Loan Banks. In short, as we've said before, be aware of your Humda data, your ECOA data, because there's going to be a direction in this industry that's going to be hypersensitive to any issues regarding Humda and ECOA. So have fun with this one. And I just hope policies don't get in the way of progress because progress is what we're really looking for. Now, if you'd like to challenge my statement, I'd be more than happy to fly to your hometown and have a longer conversation about the fine points of this. But suffice it to say right now that we have a different direction with the FHFA, with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and we are going to be much more sensitive to issues with Humda and ECOA. With that said, have a great day, and I can't wait to see you again on Monday with the National Real Estate Post. Have a great day.